Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. So rapper Quando Rondo says that basically he is laying down his flag and he no longer wants to be a crip anymore. He posted on his Instagram that there is no loyalty. Now, I can't understand everything that he wrote. But guys, that was basically a brief summary of what he wrote. He wants to lay down his flag because there is no loyalty. He doesn't want to be a part of the gang anymore. So there's a TMC artist that goes by Jay Stone. He responded by saying, you can't drop your flag and say you're not an H no more. Ninja, go to the hood and get your put off. Don't cry now. We lose homies all the time. Not everybody gonna ride. You was a goofy internet banger anyway. So this was the response from Jay Stone. Based on his picture, he looks like he's also another crip too now part of the reason why if you guys don't know quando rondo a few weeks ago got caught up in la he got shot at and unfortunately one of his homies died let me play the video for you real quick <laughs> As you guys saw from the video, that was his homie that died. His homie got shot. So him and his homie was in a car and unfortunately the bullets hit his homie and he passed away. It's crazy seeing dudes wanting to jump in and out of gangs like hopscotch. One minute they want to claim the set. Next minute I've had enough of this. I'm my own man. I no longer want to be a part of the gang. Unfortunately, you should have thought about this the first time before even getting involved. See, Quando Rondo checked in into LA when he got there. He was paying for protection. But he still got shot at and his homie still ended up dying and unfortunately for him once you in a gang leaving it's not that easy and unfortunately this will probably make it even worse and will make even more enemies for him and put an even bigger target on his back for wanting to be out for wanting to lay down his flag you can't just wake up one day and decide oh i no longer want to be a part of the set i just want to leave this is not like just quitting your job the thing about the streets is that the streets are a lie don't let these rappers glamorize it sure I I understand that sometimes you're a product of your environment that's what you grew up around you didn't know any better but in 2022 the streets are a myth sure maybe back in the days there were ethics morals loyalty integrity that came with it but nowadays that doesn't exist anymore when you start gang begging only two things will happen eventually you're gonna end up dead or in jail for a long time there's no in between there's no loyalty in the street gang life anymore when you locked up a lot of these guys they're not gonna put money on your books like that they're not gonna write you and visit you like that maybe you'll get a couple tweets or maybe a couple posts on instagram about free ray ray but that's about it when you end up dead they're not gonna take care of your kids your mom your girl i mean the average street guy doesn't have money like that to take care of himself and also take care of all his homies family kids girls once they get locked up or dead hell some of them might even try to sleep with your girl while you're locked up or dead i get it that you want to get that fast money but what's the point when you won't even be around to enjoy it while you're dead or in jail not to mention those same guys that you're gangbanging with they will be the first ones that snitch on you once they get a plea deal offer what's a life where you have to constantly worry about your ops spinning the block to get payback your homies are getting shot at your house is getting sprayed your mom your family your girl your kids are getting shot at all because of you and the enemies that you made you have to constantly watch your back wherever you go it's not worth it what if you get locked up in the same prison as your ops you don't think they're gonna want to get payback and once you're inside the prison you can only run so far you can run but you can't hide forever while you're in there you're gonna see them and they're gonna want payback what if you get into a fight and someone ends up getting stabbed and dying so you went from just doing two five maybe ten year sentence to now facing life in prison at the end of the day none of this is worth it don't let these rappers glamorize 
the street gang culture to you. In 2022, there's no loyalty, there's no honor, there's no integrity. It's not like back in the days. It's completely different. These same guys riding with you will be the first ones that snitch on you once they get a plea deal offer to get lesser time. So guys, let me know what you think. And with that being said, I am out.